One Piece episode, whatever the episode was. But listen, dude, the episode was sick. The episode was amazing. And what I've been noticing, what I've been noticing a lot of is people are criticizing, you know, certain parts of the animation or whatever. This is, I feel like we shouldn't let that be the focus of this episode. Let's enjoy this episode for what it is. The animation, all that other stuff. I get it. I get it. It's, it's unacceptable, some of it. But let's focus on what it is, right? On the hype moments of this episode. We got, okay, first, Kaido. Let's just address the elephant in the room or that beast in the room, Kaido. Okay, so Kaido, my boy Kaido, he is, we see him jumping off fucking Sky Island. We see Uruj and his guys are like, yo, we shouldn't be even going to talk to him. Let's leave him alone. Leave the crazy motherfucker alone. Don't fuck with him. And Uruzo goes over and he jumps off, dude. He jumps off Sky, Sky Island 10,000 meters up high. And you see, I like how they did it. He just landed and it, he destroyed ships. And you saw Kid and all those guys like, yo, I like how Kid reacts. He's like, yo, what the fuck? What's going on? And then they went back to show you how it all started, right? And I like at the beginning of the episode how we had some Kuros and Zoro moments. And that could be some foreshadowing that Kuros could come back into the story with a prominent role. Because Zoro said, I want to spar you one day. And Kuros said, you know, a famous Kuro isn't like yourself wants to spar with me, that's cool, and I'm one that I wanted Kiros to join the crew, I really wanted Kiros to join the crew, because I enjoyed Kiros, I felt like he would have been a great addition to the Straw Hats, it would have been cool if Kiros would be the one who like, eat the, um, that, that, that Logia Monet's fruit, that would have been awesome, Kiros would be like, the, the, the Snow Swordsman, right, the Snow Swordsman, um, or the Ice Swordsman, whatever, that'd be cool, but then it'd be so similar to Brooke, Brooke is like bone chilling, whatever. So I get that. But the the, the scenes with Zoro and Kiros, I enjoyed those. Those are nice. Those those are cool with Zoro. And then he drank out the bottle and he was like, yo, you can finish the rest. I was like, yo, you don't got a cup. You don't got a cup or something. So th that was that was kind of weird. But back to Kaido, dude. Back to Kaido. Um I was very impressed with how how Kaido looked, how they animated that. The Zoro and um, Kiros scenes were kind of weird. Those were kind of weird, but Kaido was done very well. They captured the essence of the, the him being a beast. They captured that, and you, you at, at no point. I mean, some people didn't. Ex didn't. It is spoiled some people because of the title. It, you knew Kaido was incoming, and that's not how it was for the manga. So that's that's the crazy part there, but. How they did it, how Kaido was. First of all, Kaido is fucking huge, bro. He is a big dude. He's a big dude. So when you saw him, I was like, yo, like, Kid was intimidated. Hawkins was intimidated. Who was intimidated? Everybody was like, yo, what the fuck is this monster? Like, when his hand came out, it looked like it already had Armin Hawking on it and shit. Like, it was crazy. It was crazy. But I thought... I thought it was great. Um, now we had some Sanji. We we saw Zoe, and Zoe looks amazing. They did a great job in Zoe's, and you know we saw Nami and those guys um, running away. Um, there was Nami, uh, Momonosuke, and Brooke, and Sanji was running away as well. Sanji and Caesar and Chopper they got separated, and pretty much Nami they encounter Sheepshead and Jinrumi. Sheepshead is going at Nami. Brooke saves her, and then you know the the whale. Um, erupted, the whale erupted or something, um, and it had, like, it caused water, and Brooke was like, yo, I'm gonna save you, Nami, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, he can do shit, <laughs> he can do shit, so, um, and then Nami was like, yo, you damn devil for Jesus, that was funny, but then Sanji came in, he's like, yo, Brooke, hold him, because she said found him again, and Sanji, he attacked, Sanji came in, yo, Brooke first stopped the attack, Sanji came in, finished him up, and then Jin Rumi and those guys, they said, Yo, tell him that, you know, he's not here, whatever. So then, you know, um, they just left. And then, um, that was a great moment as well. With Sanji, finally seeing Sanji again. And, you know, the part that made me crack up was when, um, when Sanji ran back to Nami. He was like, Nami, sweat. I was like, yo, I missed that so much. Because you haven't seen Sanji in so long. So that, that, um, that, that made me happy, dude. That really made me happy. Because it was, it was really cool. It was really cool seeing that. It was really cool seeing that. But for the most part, it was a great episode. The Kaido shit got me real hyped. Like, Kaido 
it's hard to see. I can see why he's in Aqua now. Like, I don't know how you get that big. I'm not sure what species he is, but he is huge, dude. It is sick. It is so intimidating, and his, his body is so fucking, so chiseled. It's just like, ugh. It's nasty, dude. It's nasty, and I loved it. I enjoyed the episode. One Piece. I, you gotta love One Piece, dude. The anime. I can't wait for the next episode. We're gonna see some more Zoe, which is sick. I can't wait to see that. So, I'm excited. I'm super excited. But, guys, let me know what you thought about this episode. I thought it was sick. It was hype. And I, I loved it. So, let me know what you thought about the episode. Like, this. subscribe to the channel if you have not. That would be dope. Have a good day, dude.